this. I mean, yeah. it, 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 it's, it's a tactic. It's, it's, a, it's a media tactic, and in some sense, it's a, a um, almost an ontological commitment of atheism to say that all faith claims are in some sense equivalent. You know, the, the, the media says the Muslims have their extremists, and the, we have our extremists. We have jihadists yeah. in, in the Middle but East, and we have an all, you know, there. people who there's kill them, yeah. abortion yeah. doctors. Yeah. And it's just not a, yeah. a, a real yeah. equation. I mean, yeah. the, the, right. the mayhem that's going on under, under the aegis of Islam is just cannot be compared to the fact that we have you know, two people who a decade kill abortionists. Um, and, and so I think we, uh, my commitment, I mean, this is one of the problems I have with the concept of atheism, is I just think it, it, it hobbles us in this discourse where we have to seem to kind of spread the, the, the light of criticism equally in all directions at all yeah. moments. And, 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 f and I think we could, uh, on any specific question, have a majority of, of religious people agree with us. Yes, I mean, a majority of people in this country, yes. in the United States, clearly agree that the doctrine of martyrdom in Islam is appalling and not benign and liable to get a lot of people killed and worthy of criticism. Um, likewise, the doctrine that souls live in petri dishes. Uh, even Christians, even 70% of Americans, <laughs> don't want to believe that in light of the promise of stem cell research. Uh, so it seems to me, w once we focus on particulars, we, uh, we have you know, a real strength of numbers, and yet when we stand back yeah. from the ramparts of atheism and say, it's all bogus, we lose 90% of our neighbors. Well, that's, I'm sure that's, that, that's yeah. right. On the other hand, um, my, my concern is, is actually not so much with the, with the evils of religion as whether it's true. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I really do, I and mean, I pa care passionately about that the, the fact of the matter, is there as a matter of fact a, a supernatural creator in this universe? And I, and I really care about that. Yeah. And so, Although I also care about the evils of, of religion, I, I'm, I'm prepared to be even-handed because they all make this yeah. this uh, claim, which seems to me front, equally yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would mm. I would never give up the the claim that all religions are equally false, and for that reason, because they they're false by preferring faith to reason, latently at least equally dangerous. But mm. e equally false, but, but surely not quite equally dangerous because of... No, latently I think so, because, the, maybe, yeah, yeah. because of the surrender of the mind. Yeah. Uh, the surrender of the mind, yeah. the, 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 the eagerness to discard the only thing that we've got that makes us higher primates, the faculty of reason. That's always yes. deadly. And always, and uh, if, if I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I think you know, it's the, potentially the Amish yeah. can't. The Amish yeah. can't hurt me, but they can sure they hurt, hurt the people who live in their community. Yeah. They have yeah. a little totalitarian, but not quite in the system. same way. The, the Dalai Lama claims to be a god king of, of a hereditary monarchy, and inherited godliness. That's the most repulsive possible idea, and he runs a crummy little dictatorship in Dharamsala. Right. And would, it would be worse, and, and praises the Indian nuclear test, it would be worse. It, it's only limited by his own limited scope. But if you added the, the, the same evil jihad to that, you would be more concerned. Mm. Well, look, every time I've ever debated with Islamists, they've all said, ah, you have just offended a billion Muslims, as if they spoke for them. Right. As if mm. that there's a definite threat to this uh, a menace, a military tone to what they say. In other words, if they'd said, you've just offended me as a Muslim, it wouldn't, doesn't sound quite the same, does it? If, the, if they were the only one who believed in the Prophet Muhammad. Mm. No, no, it's a billion. Um, and by the way, what's I implied in that is watch out. Right. Yeah. I don't care. If it was only one person who believed that the Prophet Muhammad had been given dictation by the Archangel Gabriel, I'd still say what I was saying. Right, but you wouldn't lay away. And it would be just as dangerous that they believed that, yes. It would, because it could spread. The belief could become well, more but general. It, it has, in the case of Islam, it has spread and is spreading, and it, and so its 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 danger is not only potential but but actual. Yeah. I, so I can see no yeah. contradiction. Yes, but over You're space and over things. space and time, the oil I think is tremendously evens out. I mean, I didn't expect. I'm sure neither did you. In the 60s, that there would be such a threat from Jewish fundamentalism. Hmm. Re relatively small right. numbers, but in a very important place, a strategic place, and mm. deciding to try and bring on the Messiah by stealing mm. other people's land and and uh, trying to bring on the end. Yeah, it's yeah. A very and numerically it's extremely small. Right, but the the consequences that it's had have been absolutely calamitous. Um, and we, we didn't used to think actually of Judaism as a threat in that way at all yeah. until the Zionist movement and next the Messianic.
or fused with it because the mass Zionists didn't used to be Zionists, as you know. So you never know when it's going to be next. I, well, that, I, that I, I agree. I'm not likely to be to have my throat cut at the supermarket by a Quaker. Yes. <laughs> but the Quakers do a lot of the work by saying we preach non-resistance to evil. Right. That's as wicked a position as you could possibly hold. Given the right context. I mean, what yeah. could be more revolting than that? Yeah. Say, you see evil and violence and cruelty and you don't fight it. Yeah, they're free riders. Yeah. Okay. Read Franklin on what the, what the Quakers were like at the crucial moment in Philadelphia when there had to be a battle over freedom and see, that, uh, see why people despised them. Hmm. Uh, I would have then said the Quakerism was actually quite a serious danger to the United States. So it's a... It's a it's a matter of space and time. But no, they're all, they're all equally rotten, false, dishonest, corrupt, humorless, and dangerous. Mm. In the it's true. I mean, there's one point you make here that, that I think we should say a little more about is that you never, you almost can never quite anticipate the danger of unreason. I mean, when your mode of interacting with, with others and the universe mm -hmm. is to affirm truths you're in no position to affirm, the, the liabilities of that are potentially infinite. I mean, you just don't know. So to take a, a case that, uh, that I raised a moment ago, stem cell research, you don't know going in that the, the idea that the soul enters the, the zygote at the moment of conception is a terrible idea. I mean, it seems a totally benign idea until you invent something like stem cell research where it stands in the way of, of incredibly promising, life-saving research. Um, and so it's, I mean, there's something about dogmatism which, which you can mm. almost never foresee how many lives it's going to cost uh, because, the, you know, its conflict with reality just, you know, erupts. In, well, that's why I think of the, the, the moment where everything went wrong is the moment when um, the Jewish Hellenists were defeated by the Jewish Messiah, the, the celebration now benignly known as Hanukkah. So as right. it can not crash, crash with Christmas, that's where the human race took its worst turn. There's a few people. But they re-established the animal sacrifices, the circumcision, and the cult of Yahweh over Hellenism and philosophy. And Christianity is a plagiarism of that. Wouldn't, Christianity would never have happened. And nor would Islam. Right. There were, uh, no doubt there would have been other crazed cults and so forth. But there might have been a chance to, to not destroy Hellenistic civilization. Well, it's not a matter of numbers. You'd it's still a matter of, if I, may, if I may say so, memes and uh, infections which was spread very fast. Of course, I would have certainly said in the 1930s that the Catholic Church was the most uh, deadly organization because of its alliance with fascism, mm. which was explicit and open um, and sordid. Uh, much the most dangerous church, but I, I would not, not now say that the Pope is the most dangerous of the religious uh, authorities. And it's uh, no question that Islam is the most dangerous religion and partly because it doesn't have a papacy uh, that yes, can indeed, tell yeah. it to stop right. something yeah. and make no an edict saying... Down control, that, yeah. 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 Uh, by, all me by all means, yes. But I, I would still have to say that Judaism is the root of the problem. Although it's only the root of the problem in light of the Muslim fixation on that land. If, if the Muslims didn't care about Palestine, we could have the settlers trying to usher in the Messiah all they want. It would, it would, there'd be no issue. It's only the conflict of claims on that real estate. Um, this, this is just to say that... that, that well, both sides are, are, are both, both sides are, are at fault, yeah. but the only reason why 200,000 settlers could potentially precipitate a global conflict is because there are a billion people who really care whether those settlers tear down the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Uh, Which it's their dream to do. Yeah. Because yeah. they have the belief that one, per one part of the globe is holier than another. Right. Than which no belief could be more insane or irrational or indecent. And so just a few of them holding that view and having the power to make, make it real is enough to uh, risk a civilizational conflict which civilization could lose. I mean, I think we'll be very lucky if we get through this conflict without a nuclear exchange. Actually, that's, so that's, I think that's a very good topic. What, what, are, what, are our ex, what are our most grandiose hopes and fears here? I mean, what do you think reasonably could be accomplished in the lifetime of, of our children? Uh, what do you think the stakes actually are? Uh, and, and how would you how get maybe, there? Yeah, I mean, is there something we can engineer apart from just mere 
criticism? I mean, are there some, like practical steps? I mean, what, what with a billion dollars could we do to affect some significant change of, of ideas? Is well, there any practical? I, I, I feel myself on the losing side politically and on the winning side intellectually. Hmm. I mean, you, in that's the, just, you, you, don't see, you don't see anything to do. In the current zeitgeist, I don't think we would be accused of uh, undue conceit if we said of ourselves or didn't mind it being said of us that we've been opening and carrying forward and largely winning an argument that's been neglected for too long. And that, that, certainly in the United States and Britain at this moment, that's true, it seems to me. But in global terms, I think we're absolutely in a tiny, dwindling minority that's going to be defeated by the forces of theocracy. I which don't will agree you're betting against which, us. No, I, I, think, no. I, think, I think they're going to end up by destroying civilization. Hmm. I've long thought yeah. so. Well, of course, you may be right. But not without a struggle. Because, it, because, right. it, because it, can be a, it can be a single catastrophe. Because that's my big but disagreement with Professor Dawkins, is that uh, mm -hmm. I think it's us plus the 82nd Airborne and the 101st who are the real fighters for secularism at the moment, uh, the ones who are uh, really fighting the main enemy. So in what sense and, do you disagree and on that? And I think I probably, among secularists, that must be considered the most eccentric position you could possibly hold. That's a tooth fairy belief among most people. That I believe it to be an absolute fact. It is only because of the willingness of the United States to, to combat and confront theocracy that we have a chance of beating it. I Our arguments are right. absolutely of no relevance in that no, I, I, oh, you, you I may have many I, more takers, although not yeah. on, on the territory of Iraq. I mean, it may be yeah. that we need the 82nd Airborne to fight the, a different war in a different place yeah. for the same yeah. purpose, for, uh, for the stated purpose. Voila, by all means, there are uh, reservations to be expressed by me, which right. I happily give you. But yeah. it, in, in principle, I think that's it's a very important recognition. Unfortunately, yeah. we're, we're running out of time. Um, and possibly tape. <laughs> uh, I I think we've had a wonderful discussion. Yeah, yeah great. And yeah. Thank you. Got a lot to think about. Very much. Yeah. yeah.